And tell me about your uh, your early uh, your early days of coming up, man. I know you, I know you was in high school, born and raised Alabama boy, country boy. Man, my story. <laughs> I'ma just put it like this. I was. Uh, I've been this height since my freshman year in high school. I started off playing football. Um, what position in football? I wasn't good. Or I wasn't good. No position? No, I just wanted to be a football. Oh, player. okay. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't play. I didn't play. How tall were you? <laughs> taller. So, you know, in Little League, you play, it's pounds. No so doubt. I'm taller than everybody in my class. Right. I'm taller than the kids, man. So I had to play up. Mm. So they dominated me even more. Right. But I got the weight. I couldn't lose the weight. You get better, though. Got better. Play bigger. Better. Yeah. Yep. It all worked out for me. All, these, all this shit happened, it worked out right. eventually. Right. It all played a small part in who I became. So. No doubt. My entire life, I was always, you know, the young guy with all the older people. Mm. So I learned, I, I lived a faster life. I, I, I experienced things quicker than the, the other kids my age from... Everything. Every, I hopped off the porch Everything. early. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Put, you know what that means. Got mean. you. So um, basketball really saved me because I ended up hitting this... It's part of my life, I think we all do. When you come from a certain environment, you, you, you hit this, this certain part of your life, it's like, hurdles. what the fuck I'm going to do? Right. Crossroads. Yeah, what? And when you coming up in our environment, it ain't no left or right. Motherfucker, it's left, right, up the middle, a little further left, a little... Going back. It's a, it's a lot, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of routes. So trying to figure this out, and credit to my mom. You know what I'm saying? I, crazy thing, I'm... I'm walking through school. This is how my basketball story started. I'm walking through school. This is seventh grade. Walking through school and um, skipping class at the time. AAU coach is walking down. Uh, shout out to Gary, Coach Gary. But um, he's walking through the hallways and he stops me. Like, and at this time, I'm like 6'6". Six, 6'4". Six. Mm. Six, no, I'm like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. So he stops me and he's like, man, like, how tall are you? Yada, yada, yada. You know, I tell him. He's like, what are you, like, sophomore, you know, junior? I'm like, nah, I'm in the seventh. Damn. He like, what the fuck? He like, you play ball or something? Exactly. He like, you play ball? I'm like, hell no, nah, I'm just out here. Like, he, you know Come what here. I'm saying? Come here. So he like, man, he got my information. I need you at practice today. So mm -hmm. I go home and I'm like, ma, yeah, some man hollered at me and he trying to do this, this, and this with me. I'm like, man, I ain't fucking with that shit. He talking mm -hmm. about traveling all over the world playing basketball. I'm like, came right at you. Straight up. I'm like, man, I don't know about all that. So my mom ended up having a conversation when she come back to me like, you know, so I think you need to do this. Mm. I'm like, ma, I ain't feeling that. Like, I don't even know what that shit. Like, man, listen, just try it out because all you really doing right now is getting in trouble. All right. You know, Love Part of the mind. bullshit. No doubt. So you should, like, you need to do this. Try it out. Rest is history. Oh, wow. So, and even through that, I was, it was a little rinky dink AAU team. Like, we was doing car washes and selling donuts just to make a tournament. No doubt. That's that so, country shit you Country do, shit. Though. Like, real country shit. Real so, right. I was never a, a prospect where I was, like, being groomed. You know, most of these guys are groomed coming in. Right. Yourself, like bro, like y'all were groomed at a certain you. point. Yeah, I got you. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? You you had somebody that was, Facts. you know what I'm saying? You, right, right, right. For me, it was just like I'm learning. I ended up trusting two people, which was my mom and my AU coach, Danny Pritchett. And it's mm -hmm. like, man, and I and all I'm hearing is like, man, you gonna be an NBA player, this and this and that. And I'm like, I'm like, how the hell you know? How many NBA players you know? So how the fuck you know I'm going to the NBA, man? Like, he's pushing it like that. But he's pushing it. And obviously, you know, your, 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 your elders and adults, they see shit that you can't see as a young person. Facts. But in my head, all I see is my environment. All I see is what's around me. So it's like, I don't believe the shit you saying. And I don't even have the confidence inside of it. Like, I don't think I'm that good. I'm better than y'all, nigga, because y'all ain't shit. Right. right. <laughs> I'm better than y'all, but that don't mean I'm something. You know what I'm saying? I get so, you. I get you. Shit just kind of played out. This coach, my coach, uh, my AU coach, Coach Danny, he worked. That motherfucker would literally come pick me up every day. Even when I'm like, nah, I'm cool. Like, nah, come on. Go get it in. We in the gym. That's what's up. Every day That's in the gym. Up. And then and by ninth grade, I started in seven. By ninth grade, I was the number one player in the country. You always had the handle? You always so had So this is how that happened. 
So like I said, I, I told you the people I watch. I'm watching Melo and shit. And I was always a fan of basketball. I just didn't play. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm like, and I never was like, I want to be, right, you know, the right, still right, big right. and jump. I ain't like trying to do none of that shit. shit. I'm out here trying to look cool, <laughs> nigga. Like, I ain't doing none of that shit. Boring ass <laughs> shit, man. Like, <laughs> fuck a jump, bro. Yeah, huh? man. I ain't doing Boy, that shit. I'm shit. trying to split the defense and bang out on the mud. Like, <laughs> So when I would hoop, you know, I just try shit. Mm. Like I said, this is a rinky dink ass. Mm. <laughs> we ain't playing for shit. Facts. I'm just trying shit. Mm. And, and the first time I do it, I may kick that bitch in the stand. Mm. Second time I do it, I may get to the rim and airball the layup. By the third time I'm doing it. You know exactly what I'm doing. I done got to the rim and banged out on your ass. So, that's how the so I'm like, okay. So, I so the confidence just grew. And... I just try shit. Wow. Just keep trying. I go home. I'm watching the motherfucker do the motherfucking um, Steve Francis Reebok commercial. They dribbling oh, off yeah, the wall yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, let yeah, me yeah. try this shit, man. <laughs> I'm just trying shit, K. Steve Francis got you at home dribbling off the off wall. Off the wall, bro. Peter Paul said try it all. <laughs> so I'm just trying shit, and I'm getting good at it. So that shit just all came together for me. Wow.